Uh, hey, um, before we continue, I just want to let you know that uh, there is this incredibly awkward but uh, funny moment I had during this. Just check out at just check out at the end of the video of what that was, if you are interested. And as always, if you like my stuff, please consider subscribing. And uh, let's begin part two. Now what I do with this baby is kick your ass. A full minute of jet ski montage. This movie is in no hurry to do anything whatsoever. I am not taking it. Hitch, I'm already here. Hitch? Since when does she know him as Hitch? This is the first time she's seeing him since he introduced himself as Alex Hitches. You know what I think? I think she knows the title of the movie she's in. Over 100 million Americans can trace their ancestry back to a single man. As we continue into the Ellis Island informational portion of the movie, I just remembered that Kevin James used to be in this. Remember that guy? It's kind of deep for a first date, don't you think? <laughs> he hasn't even revealed the signature of your dead murderous ancestor yet, but yes! This movie came out in 2000 and way after this joke was tired. Women like Allegra Cole don't pick up numbers they don't recognize. Okay, she does pick up, but forget that for a moment. Women like her have assistants manning their phones, right? Precisely to prevent PR disasters like what happens after Allegra picks up this phone. Hilarious gag aside, why does nerdo Albert Brenneman have so many f***ing lines in the first place? Riddle me that, Batman. Well, great! Great, well then I will put you back on with my... And more pratfalls. Someone call 911. I think he's having a blood attack. So this is our opportunity to break the touch barrier in a non sleazy way. Lean in, place your hand on the small of her back. Just a heads up, I've double checked with all my double X friends, and it doesn't get much sleazier than an unwelcome touch in the small of the back. So take everything Hitch is saying here with a grain of bull. A woman's best friend has to sign off on all big relationship decisions. This movie is sneakily almost as misogynistic as what women want. Is he gay? I don't think so. I like him. This entire exchange is frustrating for a bunch of reasons. This guy has earned and based the f out of this room. There are more urns and bases here than chairs or lamps. Start the fire. I make the oh, hey, I remember this thing. The movie never even called me to ask if they could use the broom dance that I made up, and that would have played way better than the pizza or the Q-tip. It slapped. Albert grinds on Allegra here because the power of boners is stronger than actual character traits and date awkwardness. Hey, Nick Sam? Oh, good. <laughs> When they're good. Oh, man. Perfect. She was there? Wait a second. Doesn't that story say it was written by her? How is she surprised by an article that she herself wrote? I can't wait to read all about the sports final. Did the one team beat the other team by an undetermined amount of scoring units? Max is gonna... He's gonna be really irritated. The f*** off, New York. You are not small enough a city that her boss will be standing next to her at this random newsstand. Go eat a poison. Just one dance. No. One dance. One look. One kiss, that's all we get, Albert. False, or else you'd both be gone. But instead, he gets to see Allegra again, and you get to mentor him again. Just one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow, because opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You know more games, I'm gonna change what you call raid. Tear this motherfucking roof off like two dog cage. Oh, sorry. Woo, I got off on an M&M &M tangent there. Eight what? Ten women believe that the first kiss will tell them everything that they need to know about a relationship. Skip. A woman that doesn't want to kiss, Takes her keys out, puts them in the door, goes in the house. A woman that wants to kiss, she fiddles. Jesus in a juicy jungle, oh yeah. The tickets were to some guy named Alex Hitchens. If he's trying to keep his business a secret, why would he ever send a client and a famous girl to a party under his real name? Also, there are a lot of people in New York, right? Because the fact that she just happened to be pursuing a story on the lady that one of his clients was wooing, and her best friend just happened to be hit on by another prospective client we've met, makes me feel like Manhattan is maybe occupied by about 27 people. I think this is yours. And you had it dry clean. Did you also take it to a master tailor as well? Because that shirt most definitely ripped clean off when he got it caught in the cab. Speaking of which, Hitch... Does every fool in this movie automatically call him Hitch the first time they meet him? I refuse to roll credits on the basis of your silly falsitudes! I think you have food allergies. Does he not know about them, though? Is this news to him? I'm asking for real. Which one's out to? The one with the big two over it. I both love and hate retail workers. I've been there, but also when I was there, I was nicer than this. <laughs> A lot of Benadryl. No, actually, Benadryl is only helpful for relieving allergy symptoms like itching, mm -hmm. severe food allergy reactions. Oh! Seems to be Benadryl moves too slowly to be helpful, but hey. That was in the trailer. I bet I can ask you just about anything right now. 
Yeah, but Benadryl is not a truth serum, or even alcohol for that matter. It may make you drowsy and put you out, but I highly doubt it would create this level of loopiness. What is an heiress doing with the CPA? She's 100% taking advantage of his inebriation right now, and abusing their friendship in pursuit of a celebrity gossip story. Wait, does he have a large set of floor-to-ceiling blinds perpendicular to the wall and not covering any window? Like, blinds as a half wall? The f***? This room was definitely over-decorated. Christ. He up to marry my sister. Really? And they're gonna have a baby soon. Um, Uncle Hitch. The movie has the balls to name its sequel two-thirds of the way through its own original last runtime. So we you any siblings? This movie's tagline could have been, it goes on for some time. We, um, we were skating on the pond behind our house, and she fell through the ice. No one will be seated during the It's a Wonderful Life portion of the movie. Longest three minutes of my life. This is exactly what my college girlfriend said to me after our first time. Okay, who are you and what have you done with my best friend? Who are you and what have you done with cliche? The movie reluctantly admits that at least half of what it's putting on the screen is a bunch of bull. Stop! God, mother of Troy! Man getting his hair waxed off and it's painful? Hilarious and original and hilarious and original and hilarious. Oh, but tomorrow I'm free. All right, uh, 8 o'clock? Bye-bye. Bye. So a second ago he invited her to dinner at his place. Now they're hanging up, but she does not know where he lives. Ew, he took her to a f***ing Knicks game? Why not just spill hot coffee on her and call her a whore? Great seat. Great game. Well, if by great game you mean Stefan Marbury leading all scorers with a whopping 23 points and a 14-point loss to the perennial powerhouse Memphis Grizzlies, then sure, great game. Look, I know I don't do sports. okay, but Albert is so f***ing anxious right now, I feel like Hitch sucks at his job. Except his job seems to be tricking women, rather than actively building up men, so maybe he's great at his job, but his job sucks. Allegra. Yes? Guess I won't be needing this anymore. Incoming. Really? Yep, they're shaking hands. There's no universe in which a reporter this eager for a story would have her back turned on what was happening, let alone for this long. Except the universe where a scriptwriter wanted to play a visual version of the pronoun game for maximum dramatic effect, while at the same time giving a double scorpion punch to reality. How'd you get my card? Albert, Albert Brenneman. Now hold on to your Hitchcock there a second, movie. How did they even know Albert is using the date doctor? The only reason they're following the Brenneman story is because he's dating Allegra Cole. And if somehow they guessed that he had used the date doctor, even though no one has mentioned that, wouldn't that already have pointed her towards Alex, since the tickets came from him? So, Hitch. Okay, fine, roll Hitch, it's already. I'm gonna check on the risotto. <laughs> if you left risotto unattended for this long, then you've done f***ed up. Watch Top Chef, bitch. Salad tosser. You know what, I can't really uh, talk right now. If Albert just got taken down by the NYPD, how did he even have a chance to answer the phone? And if they let him answer the phone, why wouldn't they let him finish the call? This detainment's a lie. Women will remain seated. Men will rotate to the left at the buzzer. This is so much like my first sleepover, it's spooky. Holy sh! How many things in common to Hitch and 40-year-old Virgin have? Both came out in 2005 and have a nerdy lead who has little experience with women. Both feature scenes with a man getting his hair waxed off while he screams pop culture references. Both have a speed dating scene where the main characters disrupt an entire speed dating event. Both movies end with an elaborate full cast dance party. They never even replaced him on the board. Is the empty chair symbolic? Why not hire a new financial guy? Is it for the shop? I bet it's for the shop. I made some assumptions about you based on nothing, it turns out. Or maybe based on an accurate assessment of his actions, considering he offers men the ability to manipulate women into relationships without any ability to know what their true motives are. The fact that the movie wants to absolve Hitch so badly that he never wrestles with any of the underlying issues or consequences of what he does for a living and makes the women the ones who need to apologize for being too difficult to attain is repulsive. And worth at least 30 cents. Fucking hitch, man. You're selling this stuff, but you just don't believe in your own product. Thing I say every day into the mirror somehow makes it into the final cut of the movie. Wow, the tide lowers fast in New York City. She's clearly walking up to the boat from this angle. And then it's even here. Then when Hitch leaves a couple minutes later, it's already at least a foot below the dock. Almost like they shot this over the course of several hours instead of five minutes. My job is not to deceive Miss Cole. It's to create opportunities. Hello, semantics. Collect call from Alex Hitchens. Will you accept the charges? Maybe it's like what you said. We should just both go our separate ways and then and we'll do just fine. This movie wishes it had the balls to pull off this ending. What do you think you are, La La Land? You'll never be fine, and neither will I! Remember that bullshit at the beginning about no means just try harder? Movie just wants to make sure you know it's doubling down. This is like the Spider-Man 3 of romantic comedy. Too much everything. <laughs> Remember when Will Smith used to do original rap songs for all his movies? Why'd he stop doing that? I got robbed of some classics, man. Like, happiness with a Y, you and I. I'm gonna get a job even if I don't have a tie. Or, after Earth, we left and then the Earth's a birth. Ha ha! And now I gotta teach my son his work, or else we'll never have some mirth. Or for this movie, it could be Hitch. Hitch, don't call her a bitch. She's a difficult sitch. She's rich, but you glitch. Oh, maybe I see why he stopped. <sighs> Take 
if I need love advice, I ask my friends or look up online. But I'm not interested in dating, so I won't be needing either of those things. I... I'm not interested in dating in...